Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Tuesday, December 8th of 2020. There are a few things we should focus on during all of the confusion that's taking place these days worldwide. The first is not to fix our eyes on the things which are seen or heard. Our eyes and ears will deceive us whenever possible especially when deception and fake news are flooding the media daily. The second is that we must fix our eyes and ears on the Lord. As children and ambassadors of Father God, we must keep our eyes and ears fixed on those things which are not seen or heard in the natural realm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. This is how the elders obtained a good report. Also, we must practice the process of declaring God's word over us and those whom we love. This is how we bring our body and soul into submission to his word. So today, this morning's prayer is centered on declaring our allegiance and right standing with Father God through Jesus, the Messiah. Father, as we declare our intention to walk with you, we are doing more than just making utterance. This morning, we declare there is none like you. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name, for you, Father, are good, and your mercy endures forever, even to all generations. Hallelujah. Where else is there? And who else can provide all that you do? For whom has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? We are committed to you, regardless of our circumstances. For you are the Lord. Just as you have promised to never leave us nor forsake us, may we also make that same declaration back to you, Father. Help us understand when we make our declaration of loyalty to you that it's received, recorded, and rejoiced over by you. Father, your throne room breaks into celebration over each declaration of loyalty that's made, whether it's a new salvation, the reaffirmation of a seasoned saint, or the return of a prodigal. Father, let us declare our loyalty and allegiance to you often, because frequency is the glue that holds them firmly in place. As we make our declaration, we shall do it vocally, so our spirit can convince and train our soul and body, for confession of the mouth is good for the soul. Father, may we spark a never-ending celebration in heavenly places as long as we walk this earth confessing the Lord Jesus Christ and living our declaration of faith boldly. O oh, Father, as we live and breathe, let us declare blessing and honor, glory and power be to you who sits on the throne, also to the Lamb forever and ever. O oh, Father, let us arouse the four living beasts to give you glory, honor, and thanks, causing the 24 elders to fall down casting their crowns before you as they worship. Uh, this morning, Father, it's in the name of Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, that we pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.